Hello guys, welcome to the long awaited tutorial of suits pattern drafting. Um, so like I promised, this is the tutorial of how to draft a suit pattern. In my um, another video, I showed how to draft the sleeve. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to draft the back and the front pattern only. Right, so we're going to start with the box frame. Um, based on this my definition the box frame is a box that contains all the suit patterns that is the front pattern the back and the middle or the side patterns all right so let's get into the drafting so i'm waiting on horizontal line so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to divide our chest our chest is 42 42 we are going to add 14 to it which will give you 56 then you divide it by 2 which will give you 28 so my box frame is going to be 28 and this is my 28 from here to here is 28 then I'm going to add 28 here so to get the width of your box frame you're going to add 14 to your chest and divide it by 2 Take note that the 14 is a constant when you are cutting a double vent. So the next thing you are going to do is your length. <coughs> and to get the length, the length is 30. The length is 30. You are going to add one and a half to it. That's going to give you 31.5. And 31.5, this is my 31.5 here. Two. So to get the height or the length of the box frame, you are going to add 1.5 to the full length and then add 2 inches for folding allowance. That's 1.5. Then you have 2 inches for folding allowance. This is two inches. So this is two inches for my folding allowance. Now it's on this. Um, let me try to clean this. Now it's on this um, box frame. This box frame is where all my measurements are going to fall. On this part is going to be the front pattern, on this part is going to be the back pattern, and on the middle is going to be the middle pattern, right? So if you've not subscribed to my channel, please I'll give you a few seconds to do so. Thank you, so let's continue. Now, we are going to start by drafting the back pattern. So to draft the back pattern, the first thing you're going to do is, well, before then let us get all our vertical lines right now to get your chest line you need your chest line and the middle line to get your chest line you are going to divide your chest which your muscle your bicep which is in this case 15 your bicep your bicep is 15 you are going to divide it by two, we are going to get seven and a half. So when you get seven and a half, which is seven and a half is here, you add two inches to it. This is that is nine and a half. So this is my nine and a half here. So you can let me clean our calculation. So this is my nine and a half for my bicep. So the next thing you're going to do is to get your your neck of the back. So the neck of the back is nine is three and a half. We are going to put three three quarter like this. Then on this end you are going to minus one quarter. On this end you are going to minus one quarter like this. Then for the depth, you are going to put one and a half. Then you create a curve like this. 
so this is where my neck is going to start this cutter here we are not going to use it so this is where my neck is going to start so at the end of the day the neck the actual neck is three and a half right so we're the neck of the back so the neck of the front whatever you have to the back you're going to add one and a half to it so that is three and a half for the back then for the front three and a half plus one and a half will give you five so this is the neck of my front which is five we are going to extend it downwards so this is my five just extend it and get a straight line like this extend it so that you can have a straight line and get a straight line so this is the neck of my front this is the neck of my back which is three and a half and then this is the neck of my front which is five that is three and a half of the back plus one and a half right so let's get our shoulder our shoulder is 19 our shoulder is let's say 18 so this is my 18 plus half of seeming allowance so on that half we are going to go down by two and a half go down by two and a half and then use your ruler to rule it use your ruler to rule it so this is my two and a half then you measure just this part of the neck which is six and a half in this case then you, you, you bring it here remember here is six and a half but when you are putting it here put it straight but you are going to put six instead of six and a half you put six you minus half so this is my six and this is my six you are going to just rule it just like we did the neck my neck for the front now for the front pattern you are going to take out half inch up half inch so whatever measurement you are going to take now is going to start from this half inch so remember here is two and a half so here is going to be two and a half also so we are going to join this shoulder now to the neck of the front. So now remember, our here was six and a half. Here too should give us six and a half at the end of the day, as you can see. This is six and a half. But when you put it horizontally, it's six. But when you slant it, it's six and a half, which corresponds to our six and a half here. So you can see this is our neck for the front. And this is our neck for the back so the next thing i'm going to do is to get your half length so in this case my half length is 16 and a half this is my 16 and a half here so you measure whatever you have here which is eight one quarter you don't bring it here eight one quarter then you rule your line as you can see i'm doing everything simultaneously So for this back pattern, I'm going to take out one inch to get the shape of the back. Then I'm going to connect here to here, the edge from here, from this edge. We're going to connect it to this one inch here. So this is my back. And then on this part, you are going to divide whatever you have here. You divide it by two. So if I divide here by two, I'm going to have here to be my half. So whatever you have here, you're going to join this back to this place. And then you connect this place. And then you connect this place to this place. That means you're going to have something like this. For my back, right? 
so our back pattern is gradually coming out. So whatever you have for the shoulder, our shoulder is 18. To get this down, our shoulder is 18 divided by 2, which is 9. Then the 9, you are going to minus 1 from 8, which is going to give me 8. Then for this middle part, you are going to divide your stomach, your tummy, which is... Um, your tummy, which is... Your tummy, which is... 38. You are going to divide 38. 911. So you are going to divide your tummy by 6, which is 6.25. So let me just put 6.25. This is 6.25. You add half to it. Then for this part, you are going to put your shoulder, which is 19. 18. This is it. Then you go in by half, like this. Remember, from here, you are starting from this line, which is then the shoulder divided by 2, which is nine, 8, 8. Then you go in, which is 9. Then you go in by half. And then you go up by 1, like this. Then you connect the inside one, the inside line, to your shoulder like this. Like this and connect here to the outside one connect it to the outside one and then you connect here to this one so this is our back pattern of the suit which is pretty easy. Then from here, you are going to take out three inches, and you divide three inches by two, which is one and a half each. And also for this place, you take out three inches, and you go in by half like this, and then you go up by one like this. And here, from here we are trying to get the armhole of the front. This is the armhole of the back. I try to get the armhole of the front now. And here. You are going to go down by two, and here you go up by two, and here you connect it to this place like this, and here you connect it like this, and here you connect it to this place. of the front and this is my armhole of the back. Now I want to pay close attention here. So let's do the back, the neck. So for the neck you are going to measure so for the neck you are going to measure three quarter from here you are going to measure three quarter like this three quarter and you are going to join you are going to join here to here you're going to measure four like this then you connect here to here now here to here is three quarter then you measure here to here two to be three quarter that means here two should be three quarter then you connect it to the neck like this and create a curve this is my neck. Now, in this part, if you are going to have a um, notch lapel, this is how it's going to be. Then your lapel will be like this. 
you're going to have a notch that a kick lapel is going to be like this and your corner is going to be like this so this is how it is but what i want is a notch lapel so this is what i want so this is what i want all right now remember here what we got was six one quarter but then you're going to take out one inch for button allowance here was six one quarter six one six one quarter as you can see then here we're going to take out that six one quarter since we already have it at the back so this is my 38 remember the stomach was 38 the stomach was 38 this is my 38 and i've taken out the six one quarter i've had here so this is my this is my 38 you are going to add up two inches, which is 21. So this is my 21. So you are going to connect here to here. Then you connect here to here. That's how pretty it is. So this is my front pattern. This is my middle pattern and then this is my back pattern. You can see everything falls out into our um, into our box frame. Then the next thing we are going to do now is to get our length, our like um, vent, our slit or vent. I want my slit to be up to 11 inches. So I'm going to measure it from my full length, 11. So here you are going to measure one and a half and here you are going to measure one and a half. Then you connect this one and a half to here and also this one to here. So let's start with the back one. So this is our suit. Then here you are going to measure one and a half and here you are going to measure half then from the shoulder you are going to measure I want my pocket to start around 19 and a half so this is my 19 and a half here then on this line you are going to measure three quarter and another three quarter so you are going to join this line to the first three quarter, like so, and then this line to the first three quarter like this. Then on this part, you are going to join here to here, and then here to here. So this is your first that here is going out, right? Also here is going out. All these places are going out. All these places are going out. So, so this is where our pocket is going to fall. Our pocket is going to fall around here. And then for our chest pocket, from here one and a half, and then you measure four inches. So this is where our chest pocket is going to be. You see, you are going to measure out two inches here. One way you are not starting from here. You are going to measure two inches. Then you create a curve. Create a curve. So this is my suit. This is my front pattern, this is my middle pattern, and then this is my back pattern. Now, lastly, from the middle of my pocket, you are going to measure the middle, which is 2 inches. You are going to draw your 2 inches down to your pocket. Measure 2 inches down to your pocket. And then on the 2 inches, you are going to measure 
I'm going to measure one quarter here and one quarter here like this. So you're going to extend it. Extend it like this. And on this part, from this line, from this chest line, you are going to take out three quarter, three three quarter inch from here, then like this. So this is my middle that this is my side that. So the next thing you are going to do is just to cut it. Then you are going to cut out the dart and you get here the stop and you cut out this part of the dart also and you get to here the stop as you can see. Then on this line you are going to give a little notch, a little notch like this. Then on this part, on this part, you are going to take out half inch. So when you get to this place, instead of cutting exactly, you leave out like half inch. Patterns like this. I take note of that number. So in my previous tutorial, I taught how to cut the sleeve. So there is no need to go through it again. So um, I'm going to drop a link to that tutorial so that you can go and watch it and incorporate it.